Welcome to In the Kitchen with Dinah. Today, we're making Instant Pot yogurt. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Someone's in the kitchen, I know. Someone's in the kitchen with Dinah. Gonna taste good, I know. So Instant Pot yogurt. When I got my Instant Pot, I saw this crazy word on here. It said yogurt. I was like, what? So I have done the homework. I have watched a lot of information, read a lot about of things. Uh, the first time I thought you can make yogurt, I thought you're crazy. I didn't know how it was done. And the crazy thing is you need yogurt to make yogurt. There's two ways to do this. I'm gonna show you the easy way, and that's a cold start instant pot yogurt. The best product to use, and I tried it my first batch, I just used whole milk that we had got at Costco and I used a half gallon. When the yogurt was done, I had a lot of whey to strain off of it. I have found, um, after reading a lot more blogs on how to make your own yogurt, that the Fairlife Ultra Filtered Milk works the best. You can use the whole or the 2%. And I found this at Winco, so it's pretty easy to find. So we're gonna put it in our Instant Pot, just make sure it's off. We're gonna dump the whole half gallon in. And if you're a yogurt eating family, this really is delicious yogurt. Um, we like yogurt and we're pretty snobby about Tillamook yogurt, but this was, <laughs> this was really good. So we've got this dumped in the Instant Pot. So for the yogurt that you get, you want a plain yogurt, no sugar, no flavoring, no fruitiness in it. Just want a plain, I'm using a Greek non-fat yogurt I got at Trader Joe's. I was actually having a hard time finding plain non-sugared yogurt. And you wanna make sure that it's got active life cultures in it because that's gonna what's gonna help make all of the, um, the yogurt. So we're gonna take the whole container and just put it in. And just take a whisk and make sure you just whisk it together good. Now, if you're a family who likes sweet yogurt, I would advise using sweetened condensed milk because it is a milk product and it's sweet. That's the, really the best way to sweeten this if you, if you like it sweet. I really like it plain and I add fresh berries and granola and maybe a little drizzle of honey on it. It is absolutely delicious. So if you do want it sweet, you can add sweet, sweet condensed milk, but try it first without it because you really might like it. So I'm gonna drink this over here. Then you're just gonna wanna make sure you whisk really well the yogurt and the milk. Wanna make sure it's all incorporated, no lumps in there. And it's okay that it gets frothy on the top. All right, that's probably good. The great thing about yogurt it takes eight hours, so it does take a little planning ahead. Um, one thing you wanna be careful about is your sealing ring. When you make yogurt, your Instant Pot does not get hot enough to come to pressure to pop the spring, so you don't even need this in there. So if you'd made spaghetti or curry or something that's highly flavorful, I kind of give it a sniff test. I can smell that I made spaghetti in this this last week, so I'm gonna pop, I usually just pop mine out because you don't need it. You just, I'm putting the lid on it just to keep it clean. And so, I'm gonna put the lid on, close it. It's gonna sing its song. You're gonna press the yogurt button and it's gonna set for eight hours. Now, if you want it a little tart, more tart yogurt, you can add another half hour to an hour to up to 10 hours and it's gonna start. Now, the interesting thing when you make yogurt is it's gonna start counting up to eight hours instead of counting down, like it usually does. And I usually make this at night before I go to bed. I set it on the counter, I go to bed, I get up in the morning and then I put it in the strainer, put it in the fridge all day. But today we're gonna make it during the day and then I'll show you in eight hours from now what it looks like. And it's so great that you can like stand a spoon in it. It's so firm, it's so delicious. So we will be back in eight hours when our yogurt's ready. All 
right, so our yogurt said in, it beeped at us. So let's see what happened here. It's been sitting here all day on the counter. Hey, that looks really good. Let's give it the spoon test. That's pretty soft. It's, it, well, it's actually perfect. It's, still. it's still hot. So the next thing that you're gonna wanna do, cause this is kind of a multi-step process, is get either a strainer like this if you have, because we have to, um, there's quite a bit of whey on here. You can kind of see it hanging out on the top. You'll see it more, see all this whey. We're gonna drain that off because it doesn't taste great. If you have a fine mesh strainer, even finer than this where the yogurt won't go through, use that. But the first few times I made this, I used this strainer. <laughs> I lined it with a whole bunch of coffee uh, filters. I just flattened them out and then stuck a bowl under it and stuck it in the fridge. Um, other people have used a, a clean um, flour sack towel and lined their strainer if because it had bigger holes in it. And then, and that works really well. Um, or you could also use cheesecloth and make a few layers in your strainer and then just make sure you have a bowl under it because there is quite a bit of whey that comes out of it. Um, at Christmas, since I had already, I've already made four or five batches of yogurt, the kids got me um, this cool yogurt strainer that has the clear container under it and then it has this really nice fine mesh. It's really, really fine. And it kind of looks, anyway, so it sets in here. So what we're gonna do, see if I can show you. And this, it's not hot at all. It's, it, I think it stays like at 110 to 20 degrees for that long. Here's some of the way, woo. See how great that yogurt looks? Who knew it was milk? So I just pour it in. Get it off the bottom. And you can eat it now, but I sure like cold yogurt over warm yogurt. All right. And then I'm gonna put, you can already see, you can see it dripping out all the way. See it drip, drip, drip. It's kind of a little warm, it's getting steamy. It is, so we're gonna stick it in the fridge for a couple hours. Um, in fact, though, if you do it all day, like today is all Saturday, it's been cooking all day. I'm gonna stick it in the fridge and then it'll be like perfect for breakfast in the morning, but you could just do it for a couple hours and check on it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Make sure you put a, a lid on it so that it doesn't absorb any of the fridge flavors. And one thing I did wanna clarify, when I took this out, um, because it, this absorbs a lot of the flavors when you're cooking in your Instant Pot, the yogurt and milk products, because they're fatty probably, absorb this when they're sitting in that warm 100 degree-ish for eight hours. And you don't want like curry flavored yogurt or spaghetti flavored yogurt. That's what I used last and it still smells like spaghetti. So we're gonna just put a lid on this, put it in the fridge, it's drip, 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 dripping. And then in a couple hours, I'll take it out. Woo, yeah, see all that whey? It's gonna come out. And then it's gonna turn into more firmer Greek yogurt. So I will see you in a couple hours with our finished yogurt product. Well, welcome back. So it's morning now. I've let this sit and drain, or strain probably is the more better word, um, in the fridge all night long. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see that um, all of the whey under here, I'm gonna lift this up. Look at all that good whey. I'm gonna set that on there. All this whey is drained off. This kind of really has um, almost a bitter taste to it. So now that we've got that, I just grab just an airtight container and you can see how thick it is too. It's like seriously Greek yogurt here. Look at that. Yum. Oh. And you're just gonna really gently take it out of your container. If you're using the towel or the cheesecloth, you can just pick it up and it kind of rolls right out, just like it will here as soon as I get it unattached. 
<laughs> Dairy Boy is just like. It's so like old. mom's got yogurt. Oh my goodness. Want to get all the goodness out. I'll worry about that here in a second. But if you want, it's, let me grab a bigger spoon. You can add some of the whey back in, but I just kind of stir it and loosen it up. You can see how nice and thick this is. Um, this is great for if you like making homemade uh, tzatziki for Greek dishes. I know I've got an amazing Greek taco recipe I'll probably show with you and we'll use some of this because it is so yummy. But look how I, you know, I stir it and loosen it up a little. If you want it thinner, add some of the whey back into it, but I like it this thick. So I have got some honey, I'm gonna drizzle. Remember, we didn't put any sugar in this. And this, and then I made some ho homemade granola, and that's in the next episode. So let me show you how I eat this. I eat this as a snack, I'll eat it for breakfast. I'm just gonna take some yogurt, put it in the dish. That's quite a bit, actually. And I like to add a little bit of granola. like that crunchy stuff. You can add some fresh fruit to it. If you've got frozen fruit, that's good too. And a little drizzle of honey. That way you can, can totally control how sweet you want it and it makes it look pretty. Remember, you always eat with your eyes first. So we got some fresh berries. If you've got frozen berries or like whatever kind of fresh seasonal fruit there is, it's such a great topping for this. Drizzled of honey. Can't wait to have a bite of this. Mm, mm, mm. Man, it's so good. And I truly prefer this to, to store-bought. Nothing against Tillamook, because I still love Tillamook. This is so good. And yeah, it takes a little bit of time and you'll probably have to plan ahead. But you get a couple quarts of yogurt off that batch. If you've got a big family that eats a lot of yogurt, it certainly is a budget friendly way to make it. So I hope you try this. Thanks for joining me today in my kitchen. I'm so glad you did. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell for notifications. And don't forget to have a terrific day. Hi, Buff, or are you ready to start making more movies? Huh? Not in that time, Dad. Yeah, you have a nice rest. It's magic. It's magic. Do you believe in magic? Oh, copyright strike. Oh. And action. You want a bite? Yeah, I'll try that. Mm. Man, how come it's so creamy? It's so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. So creamy. So much good yogurt. So mm. much good yogurt. Gonna taste good, I know.